What is going on, my friends? I hope you guys are having a great day today. Um, today's date is November 22nd, 2020, and it is just a beautiful, easy Sunday morning here in Sacramento, California. Anyway, my name is Ryan Williams, and I am back with another video. So in today's video, guys, we are gonna be talking about why I just dumped $200 into COTY and why I think that stock has, you know, still has some potential to grow despite what some individuals on TikTok have been telling me. And real quick, before we dive in, if you are as excited to learn about COTY as I am to teach you about it, please do me a super, super quick favor and give this video a like. Um, it really, really means a lot. Anyway, thank you so much for doing that. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so to be honest, guys, I hadn't heard of this stock or heard of the company behind it until very recently, like within the last couple of weeks, I'd say. And the only reason I ended up finding out about it was because my girlfriend got it as a free stock on Robinhood when she signed her mom up on the app. Um, and when she got it, it was sitting at like $4.50 a share. And over the next few days after she'd gotten it, you know, it kept going up like pretty substantially, like, you know, 7%, 12%, 14% and more just in a day. And it did this for a consecutive amount of days. So, you know, naturally I was, you know, I was intrigued. And like I said, I didn't even know what this company was or what they even did. And so I figured that was probably the best place to start. So I hopped onto Seeking Alpha, scrolled down to the company profile, and this is what I learned. I learned that Koti Inc., I think that's how you pronounce it, Koti, I don't know, that's what I'm gonna say. So Koti Inc., together with its subsidiaries, manufactures, markets, distributes, and sells beauty products worldwide. Um, and continuing forward, the company provides prestige fragrances, so prestige, or we can call them luxury. Luxury fragrances, skincare, and other cosmetics through these brands, Alexander McQueen, Burberry, Calvin Klein, Gucci, Hugo Boss, Kylie Jenner, Lacoste, Marc Jacobs, Tiffany & Co, and you know, there's others. Those were just some of the big ones. So some pretty big companies so far. It also offers mass color cosmetics, fragrance, skincare, and body care products, primarily through hypermarkets, supermarkets, yada, 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 e-commerce retailers under the Adidas, Beckham, CoverGirl, Nautica, Rimmel, Sally Hansen, 007, and then more. Those were just some of the big ones. In a nutshell, they manufacture, distribute, and market beauty products. And it looks like they do that in two different types of industries. So prestige or luxury, so higher end, um, and then mass color cosmetics. So basically companies that can deliver to the masses like Adidas, Beckham, whatever. These are just at a lower price point. So after reading what this company does, who they are, it really doesn't surprise me much that I hadn't heard of them sooner. Obviously, I'm not super, super in the know when it comes to the beauty industry, although I do love my Kiehl's. I'll tell you what though, I wish I had heard of these guys sooner because by the time I had bought in and spent $200 on this stock, it was already at $6 a share. And in fact, $6 even per share is the average cost of, of the shares that I own. So, you know, it's true. I definitely, definitely missed out on some profits by not investing into CoT sooner or COTY sooner. But like I said, I still think it has some potential to grow and here's why. So for starters, guys, one important and very straightforward statistic is that, you know, while CoT is up 90% for the last month, you know, it's still down like 50% for the year. So back in February of this year, COTY was sitting at about $12 a share. And then, you know, by September had dropped to about $2.65 just because of, you know, everything that we've been dealing with all year. And with that said, I do believe that once the events that have transpired this year pass and we're able to move on from it, I think we'll see, you know, the share price of COTY go back up to that $12 and hopefully even higher than that. At its highest, COTY was at about $33 a share, and this was back in 2015. And while I'm, I'm not sure, obviously, if it will get that high again, I mean, only time will tell, I do believe that, you know, since it's been there before, there's at least a possibility or at least a chance that it could get there again. But like I said, I don't know, time will tell. Another reason why I'm bullish on ticker symbol COTY 
is because I think they have a you know solid spread of companies in their portfolio. Being able to operate in both the luxury markets and the market for the masses enables them to reach nearly every type of consumer. And I think that they have some really strong companies, like I said, in both of those markets, luxury and you know the mass market. For example, in the luxury markets, they have brands like Burberry, Calvin Klein, Gucci, which has seen double digit sales growth in the US and China, primarily driven by makeup. They have Hugo Boss, Kylie Cosmetics, whose sales have tripled year over year. Tiffany and Company, I mean, these are all big and popular names. Some of these even, you know, timeless, iconic brands, companies. I really think there is, you know, a market for these companies. There has been, obviously and I think there will continue to be. And on the other side of the coin, in the mass markets, they you know, have brands like Adidas, uh, Beckham, CoverGirl, Nautica, Rimmel, who is the number one mass cosmetics brand in the UK, Sally Hansen, who had the number one mass cosmetics launch in the US this last spring, James Bond, iconic, big Bond guy right here. Anyway, like I said, guys, they have a great portfolio of companies, I think. And a lot of them have some really good momentum right now. And I'm thinking, like I said, once all this stuff we've been going through this year passes, that momentum is just gonna keep going and keep going. And I think that that will result in you know, the growth of this stock and the growth of this company. Anyway, guys, the last reason that I think Coty is a great stock to buy right now is because historically they have paid a dividend. So while they stopped paying dividends earlier this year, back in like March, I think was their last dividend, um, when they were paying them out, it was at a 6.28% dividend yield, according to Seeking Alpha, which is awesome. It's a, that's a pretty substantial dividend yield. And so I am buying into this stock now in the hopes that they'll bring that dividend back and get that thing growing. That'd be nice. Well, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video today. If you've made it this far, you'll notice that I didn't really cover any of the under the hood financial information on Coty or C-O-T-Y. In this video, obviously, I, I was focusing more on some of the big picture, high level stuff surrounding this company. And the reason for that is, and I've mentioned this before, I am still learning all this stuff, guys. I am learning as I'm going. And so, I don't quite know everything yet. I'm starting to be able to understand more of the financial side of things, but not to the point where I feel super, super confident talking about it. I still feel like I have some more learning to do. With that said, in the description of this video, I will leave all of the resources that I use to um, look through when I was putting this video together and putting all this information together. So one of the pieces I'll leave below that really goes into their financials is their Q1 earnings report. I kind of understand it and I'm still learning and learning more every day, but I don't quite feel confident enough to talk about it yet, but I'm getting there. Uh, and thank you for bearing with me. We're all learning together. That's just how it goes. But um, anyway, like I said, that, that pretty much concludes this video for today. I hope you guys found it useful. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please leave me a comment below. Let me know. If you have more information on this stock that maybe I didn't cover that you feel is important, please leave that in the comments below because I'm, you know, I'm personally buying more into this stock. So I'd love to have any information that I can about it. So anyway, I will get out of your guys' hair now. Thank you, thank you so much for watching this video and liking and subscribing if you have done so. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.